Hey guys, uh, here's a quick review of the new timer remote uh, from a company called Newer. And this is also known as an intervalometer uh, that I picked up from Amazon uh, for a pretty good, uh, pretty good price. I, I paid uh, $21 for one of these, brand new. I'll put a link here in the description in case you want to check it out. Uh, it just comes in. I already used this one actually, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how it works and what comes in the box. Uh, so these are the instructions or the manual uh, to use, which actually comes in really handy because the, uh, it's not as easy uh, to use in the first time. But once you read it through, uh, you should be able to pick up on it pretty quickly. But you, you're really going to need this um, instruction manual. Uh, here's the intervalometer itself for the remote timer. And I already put batteries on it because I was using it earlier today just to test it out to see how it works. But the batteries do not come included. Uh, this is the EZA-C3 uh, from Newer. They're known for having a lot of uh, really affordable uh, accessories for digital cameras. And this is the one that you'll use for specific types of Canon cameras. As you can see here, the, uh, the, the plug for it is very specific for uh, certain kinds of Canon cameras. So you're going to have to check out the, the listing to make sure that it works for your camera. Uh, so yeah, here it is. Uh, one thing that I noticed uh, a lot of people that reviewed this product before was that it, you can't really turn it off. So once you put in the batteries, this will be on, the screen will be on. Uh, so it uh, sounds like it's going to drain off the batteries pretty quickly, but so far I've used it and it, does, it hasn't, I've used it for a couple days and it hasn't um, run out the batteries yet. So I think it's going to be all right as far as the battery power. And uh, this is the part where you plug into your camera and uh, here are all the settings. And like I said before, you're really gonna need the, the instructions manual. Um, I think there's a graph right here that was pretty useful when using this and to setting things up, uh, which I believe it's right in the center of the instructions. This one right here. Uh, there's some definitions about the, what the delay is, what the uh, long is, interval, and uh, this really explains it very well once you set up your in intervalometer. So you can use this as a standard remote for your camera. You can just plug it in and then just click this right here to set up the, um, to sh the shutter in your camera. Or you can use this to set up um, intervals of shooting. So you can plug it into your camera. You can set up here how long you want the, 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 the trigger to go off and how often and how many times. And it will do it for you. Um, so it's a pretty handy kind of accessory, especially if you want to use it for uh, astrophotography. So the way you use it is that you use this kind of um, joystick to select either delay, long, um, interval, or N. So you kind of go around it first. So you, it, uh, the delay, you set up the set button, and then you uh, click up or down to see um, or to select how many hours, minutes, and seconds you want the delay to be. And the delay definition, again, is going to be in this graph right here. It's the delay it's the, from the start to the first time that your camera is going to um, uh, go off. So let's say, for example, you want uh, your delay to be exactly like four seconds or uh, five seconds. You set it up to five, and then you go right to select the long. Again, the long definition is going to be the time from the beginning, or sorry, from after the delay. Until your shutter closes, so your shutter is going to close. It's going to open after the delay is done, and then it's going to close after the exposure time, which is going to be your delay. So let's say you want your delay to be just, uh, or your shutter to remain open for two seconds. You set it up to two. You move to the right, and then it goes to your interval. And your interval is going to be your time between after the delay and until your shutter opens the, the second time. So let's say you want your shutter to open or your interval to be uh, five seconds. So that means that uh, since, your, since your, inter or your long number was two seconds, then your shutter is gonna close after three seconds after that, according to the graph right here. So your shutter is going to remain open for two seconds, and it's going to uh, reopen again after five seconds. 
So it's going to remain closed for three seconds. So it's a little bit complicated the, the first time that you run it, but once you figure it out, it's actually pretty quickly. Uh, it's done pretty quickly. And then the N is the number of times you want your shutter to go off. So let's say I want my shutter to go off five times. You set it up to five. And then the last option is um, if you want the sound to go off. And in this time I do want the sound to go off and then you just click on set and it's gonna beep once and then you're set. Then your interval is set in your timer. Uh, so I'll bring my camera next time to show you how it works with the camera. Okay, so I brought in my Canon 6D uh, to try it out. And uh, to set up the intervalometer, what you'll do is that you'll plug it right here. So you grab your cable and you plug it right there. It should fit pretty easily there, right there. So there's a couple of things that you have to take care of uh, if you want to use the intervalometer in a specific way according to the instructions. You have to set up your camera uh, according to uh, some settings right here that you will see in the instructions manual again. So you want to set it up for manual and you want to leave it at bulb. So if you want to use it, uh, the intervalometer for to remain uh, to, for the shutter or to, to the sh for the shutter to open for more than one second, you have to keep it at, at bulb. There's another option to do less than one second, which I'll show you in, later in the video. And then you want to, your interval timer to remain off, which should be set up by default. Uh, same as your focus and your uh, continuous uh, shutter. Uh, so what you do, uh, you plug it in, you turn on your camera, of course, and um, let's point it to a specific direction to see if it works. Uh, so one last thing that you have to do is that you have to make sure that you, for, for at least for this option, you have to uh, select manual focus right here for it to work. So what you do is just click here on timer start stop, this button right here on the intervalometer. And it should already start doing it. It will count down to five seconds of your delay. And it should take your five photos according to the settings that you set it up according. And as you can see, it is doing it. That's the third photo. There's two left. And the last one. So the sounds that you hear are the actually the sounds of the shutter opening and closing. So as you can uh, as you can tell, those were used for using it for um, uh, the shutter to remain open for at least one second or more, uh, because uh, that's the only way that you can use it here for uh, using the intervalometer. There is a way to do it with a faster shutter speed, uh, so that way you can use it with manual mode. Um, so in order to do to do that, you have to set up your intervalometer a specific way which is specified here in page 14 of the instructions. Uh, you can use the manual mode in this situation in case you want to use your shutter speed for faster than one second, uh, which you have to set up in your camera. And then in the uh, EZA, which is the intervalometer, you have to go in and set up the exposure time to zero seconds. So what you'll do is uh, you'll go to the uh, long uh, option and go and select zero seconds right there. And your interval, of course, has to be longer than that. Let's say we want to take a picture once every three seconds in this case. And let's take, um, let's take three, uh, three photos. Let's see what that does. And so, uh, yeah, it is already set up. You click on set. It will beep once. You have to set up your camera to have a faster, faster shutter speed than one second. So in this case, it's at 160. Let's go ahead and see what that does if we see if it works and again you'll use your intervalometer and you click on timer start stop and it's counting down the delay right there and as you can see the sounds go off a lot faster because your shutter speed is a lot faster than before it's faster than one second and uh, yeah there it is it took the three photos and uh, yeah, it, that's how it works, basically. So as far as my review, I have to give this a positive review, especially for the price. Uh, you can't go wrong with this intervalometer or this timer. You can also use it as a remote time or a remote shutter. Uh, I've used it a couple times already, and it works pretty well. I think, I'm saying if um, I recommend it, especially if you're into astrophotography, I can see myself using this quite a bit when shooting the sky. So I gave it a 5 out of 5 star, especially for the price. There's no issue with it. Maybe with except, uh, ex the exception of having the the 
the screen on all the time uh, when you put, uh, place the batteries on, but it's not a really big deal. Uh, I put a link here in the description in case you want to check it out. And thank you for watching and take care.